Hello friends, I'll welcome you once again on this platform, Inspirational Guides. My name is Elvis and it's always my pleasure to be here. In case you are new on the channel, kindly click on the subscription button below and the notification bell and you will be notified when a new video pops up. Today, we shall be looking at some factors that make things work anywhere. Now, you may be wondering, why are some of the things that you engage in not working the way they are supposed to? And what must we do to come out of this? This and more we shall be looking at when we come back. Stay tuned. Success is not from abroad, but from above. What you don't resist has the right to remain. If it is not from God, don't do it. Remember, the time that you lost can never be regained. Without God, all your acts of diligence are futile. Welcome back. Our pensive point. It is foolishness to know what to do and not doing it. As a way of introduction, it is common to hear people nowadays say they are unable to do this, we are trying to do this and it's not working and all sorts of things. For everything to work, there is a procedure. There are forces that we need to engage at all points in time to be able to get things to work everywhere that we find ourselves. And today, we shall be looking at some of those factors that we need to engage in to make things to work for us anywhere. Number one, running on God's vision for your life. This is key to getting things done for you anywhere. The book of Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11 to 12, it says, For I know the plans that I have for you, said the Lord. The plans to prosper you and not to harm you. The plans to give you a hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. So definitely God has a plan for each and every one of us, but we must call on to him for him to deliver that plan to us. And when he does, we need to run with that plan. Unfortunately, today, many people don't run on God's plan for their lives. They run on the plan of the society, the plan of the government, the plan of the economy, or they run on the plans of others. So please settle down and get God's plan for your life. The reason that thing you are engaged in may not be working could just be because you are not running on God's plan for your life. So locate it. Number two, the ability to take responsibility. Many people shy away from taking responsibility or doing the needful as required of them. This is the reason why many complain of things not working. It is common in society today, especially for the young people whom we are here to inspire. They complain a lot. Things are not working, you know, no employment, no jobs and all that and all that. The complaint doesn't change the situation. So please, you need to take responsibility. Don't sit and you are hoping for some other people to do things for you or come to your help. No, you need to take your own responsibility to get things to work. Let's take the opinion of some people and we will be right back. So one of the factors should be taking responsibilities. And now how do we take responsibilities? The first thing first that I'm going to say is that you need to recognize what your own part of the issue is and take adequate 
responsibility for your own part after you recognize it without recognition there is no how you're going to be able to take responsibility for it so recognize what exactly your own part of the issue is another thing is do not blame others if you continue to blame others for whatever situation you're going through whatever is happening around you there is no how you're going to be able to take responsibility for that thing own up to it and deal with it once you take responsibility for it put it in action then thirdly do not make excuses a lot of people have to make excuses for one thing or the other or oh, it's because of this that is not working it's because of that that is not working let's take for instance you want to eat even if you have to go to the um, restaurant to get something to eat you still need to go that is part of taking responsibilities and if it has to be in your home the food is not going to come to you on the table you need to prepare it you need to cook so you need to take a step you need to take responsibility for whatever the issue is whatever you're going through whatever is happening around you take responsibility for them and use the good part of it capitalize on the good part of it and put it in action then you'll be able to get good results otherwise all of those things would not work one more thing is that i recognize that a lot of young people are actually taking responsibilities that's kudos good job take one step further i'm going to uh, uh, um, i'm going to use this as an illustration you want to break a rock you have broken it 99 times remember that it's not the hundredth time that you're breaking it that is breaking the rock the hit that you have been given this rock for the first 99 times is the what is going to give it the breakage at the hundredth time so you've taken a little bit of responsibility it's not enough it is not enough just do a little bit more i'm encouraging the young ones please do a little bit more and they'll be able to achieve good results welcome back number three our mindset it is very important to know that we need to always keep our mindset on the positive end the book of proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 it says as a man thinketh, so is he so you want things to work for you anywhere that you go you want things to begin to work for you at all points in time you need to change your mindset number four diligence or hard work it is very important to know that diligence is the driving force for everyone or any person who anticipates to be successful in life the book of proverbs chapter 6 verse 9 to 11 it says how long will you lie there you sluggard when will you get up from your sleep a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. And poverty will come on you like a thief and scarcity like an armed man. So the reason you are just sitting there and say you have no money might just be because you are not diligent. So please take necessary steps. When you are diligent, it means you are hardworking. That means you are consistent in putting effort that is required to get what you desire. So diligence is key. A diligent man is, is a hardworking man. A diligent man is a man that is noticed for what he is doing. It is from diligence that you, your labor can produce result. Number five see greatness where you are this is so important always see that you can scale height where you are do not belittle yourself i would like to take you through scriptures in the book of genesis chapter 13 verse 14 to 15 the case of abraham the lord told abraham stand there and look as far as you can see it will be given unto you and abraham did and eventually what Abraham saw came to pass. He saw greatness. He knew he would be a father of all nations. He knew he would be a great man. And eventually he was. So what you see, even scriptures tell us, is what you will achieve and it is what you receive. So note that seeing the best for yourself is the minimum that is expected of you. Not seeing greatness in you might just be the reason why things are not working 
the way they ought to work for you. So do the needful. Number six, this is so important for me. Love where you are. Love where you are. Some people may be thinking like, what am I talking of? What am I saying? Yes, I mean it. Love where you are. Or you can say, like where you are. I'm going to explain. If you don't love or like where you are, you cannot reap the fruit of that land. Why? Because you always see negativity in it. So it is very important to have some love, you know, to have, you know, an addiction where you are. Try to exercise some love where you are. So you have to be a contributor to what you want to see in that land. For instance, you are in a locality or you are in a country and you like to have jobs. You like to get employment. But remember those jobs that you are seeking for are created by some other people. So you need to first of all love that area by being part of the contributors. And as you contribute to that area, you eventually reap of the blessings of your own handwork. So it's very important. What you want to see in a place, make sure you contribute towards that thing. And that eventually will make you be a partaker of the fruit that come forth from that land. Many folks today, especially where I come from, they see very little about their area. They know things can never work. And I tell you, that might just be the reason why you don't find anything working for you. So you need to stand up. You need to wake up. Begin to like that vicinity where you are. If things are not working, begin to think, what should you do to contribute to that community that may make things to work, that you in turn may benefit from it? I would like to leave you with this quote from Pastor David Ibiomi. He said, nations don't make people, but people make nations. The mass exodus, especially from the underdeveloping countries today to the Western world, it's simply because of misunderstanding that we have concerning the love of an area where we find ourselves. So this particular factor when well understood, you see that people begin to make meanings of their lives wherever they are. And I see you being a partaker of that blessing. Points to note. It is your choice to make things to work wherever you are. Transferring your responsibilities and blame on others is not the way to go. No, no, no. And I'd like you to remember Nothing works in the absence of God. So you must put God first or at the center of all your endeavors. We will be right back. All right. Most importantly, which is what I'm going to use to conclude it. It should have been the first. And that's what I'm saying. I'm going to use to conclude it so that you would have it in mind all the time. The God factor. No matter how much responsibility we take, responsibilities minus God is zero. If we do not put God first, it says in everything we do, we should put him first. Without God in all of this responsibility which we are taking, all our efforts will be futile. And I know that that will not be our portion by the grace of God. So what I want us to always do is this. Put the God factor first in everything you're doing. As long as you place it in God's hands, you will find out that you will not go the wrong direction. It will continue to lead your path to do what exactly you're supposed to do. You're not going to do it because others are doing it. You're not going to take those responsibilities because, okay, you feel this is the way. You shouldn't feel it. You should know it because you have put God first. And it will continue to enlighten you. It will continue to put you through the path that you, you should go through because you have put him first. He's the author and the finisher. You remember, he knows it all. So once you put him first, you'll be able to go through everything without stress. It's free.
this channel will be useful for you in destiny log on to this channel time and time again follow this channel for the latest video update because it is by inspiration that you will reach your destination god bless you and note that the proof of your understanding of something is quantified by the steps that you take but i'd like to remind you through this quote from bishop david oyedepo that it is foolishness to be shameful of what is gainful oh yes if you know something will benefit you you have to go for it if you know some of these points that we have captured in this episode can better off your thinking or your expectations then please do them you know we have many categories of people there are some that will watch this video and will take steps to fill the gaps in their lives while there are others even though they are not running their lives on god's plan or vision even though they are not diligent even though they are not taking responsibilities even after they watch this video they will still be ashamed to take steps probably because what people will start talking so folks apply these things and receive the much needed change for your life if you enjoyed this episode kindly hit on the like button you can share with friends and loved ones you can leave us a comment and we will be glad to respond until we meet again keep taking steps and keep learning remain blessed Thank you.